It's New Year's Eve 2019 when people first start hearing and talking about this coronavirus. But it was in China that's so far away and we didn't think anything about it. I certainly thought it was no big deal. Boy, was I wrong. Who would have thought? Schools, restaurants, even playgrounds have been closed to the public. People are being forced to work from home. It seems to be getting worse and worse with no end in sight. What can I do, you're asking yourself? While this short video not only gives you information about the coronavirus, it also gives you helpful tips on how to combat it and also what to do if you do unfortunately fall ill. Hope you can learn something from this video and it also relieves a little bit of the stress and anxiety you do feel. If at any stage you have a question, please write away in the comments. Now, the coronavirus. This is the only thing you would have heard about for the last month. I'm sure you're worried, but I'm here to help. We know that the first infected person was reported in Wuhan, China. Like I said, we never knew how swift this infection was going to take the world by storm. There is over 180,000 people around the world that have been infected with over 7,500 deaths. This coronavirus is no joke and we all must take this very serious. Okay guys, first things first. We need to know how the virus spreads and how you as an individual can be exposed to this virus. Naturally, the best way to prevent getting the infection is to avoid being exposed to it. Now that is a lot easier said than done. The spreading of the virus is thought to mostly happen from person to person. So if you see someone that's coughing or showing symptoms of having the flu, I think it's a good idea to stay away. An infected person can spread the virus to any persons who are within six feet. This comes about from the infected person spraying respiratory drops, most commonly known as spit. This happens from sneezing or coughing. Scientists and researchers are working around the clock 24-7, but as of yet there is no vaccine for this at times deadly virus. Now, here are some effective tips and ideas we have come up with on how you and your loved ones can protect yourselves from getting sick. Clean your hands. This may sound simple, but if this is not done correctly, then you can get sick. Here are some tips on the proper way of washing your hands. Firstly, wet your hands with clean running water. It can be either warm or cold. Then, apply the soap and lather your hands by rubbing them together with the soap. Scrub your hands for at least 20 seconds. Rinse your hands well under clean running water. If you don't have access to water or soap, there is no reason to panic. Hand sanitizer can do the same job, although it must have at least 60% alcohol to be effective. This last step may be the hardest for you. You must avoid touching your eyes, nose and mouth when you have unwashed hands. This is the quickest and easiest way to get sick. Avoid close contact with others try and keep at least a six foot distance you must take steps to protect others if you do fall ill you cannot afford to be selfish people's lives are at risk this first one's a no-brainer stay at home when you're sick if you are lucky young and don't have any serious medical conditions you still must be careful especially when you're sick it might only be a flu to you, but to someone maybe older or someone who has a medical condition, getting sick could be a death sentence. So when you're sick, please, please stay at home. You must cover all your coughs and sneezes with a tissue or using the inside of your elbow. If and when you use a tissue, make sure it goes in the bin. If someone does unfortunately touch your used tissue, they are at risk of getting infected. Immediately wash your hands and the inside of your elbow when and if you use that with soap and water or hand sanitizer. If you don't do this, everything you put your hands on will be contaminated with the infection. Wear a face mask. If you are sick, you should wear a face mask when you are around others. Also, wear one when you enter healthcare providers, for example, your local doctors. You must do this to ensure you don't infect others. Make sure you purchase the approved mask, which is N95. 
clean and disinfect everything you come into contact with frequently. This includes table, doorknobs, light switches, countertops, phones and plenty more. The moral of the story is clean, clean, clean. If you like this video and also learned some new things then please subscribe to our channel infotime for you and hit the bell icon button to get notified as soon as new content is uploaded. Thanks for watching and remember, stay safe.